Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy. Are you surviving the eating season? You may, it may not be, but of course, Andrea is going to tell us how we can do just that, especially since Christmas is just around the corner. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Andrea. Of course, Andrea is the nutrition expert here at Kirk Supermarket. Yeah. How Hi, are you? how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you surviving the eating season? So like a handful of nuts, a cheese stick, maybe an energy. Craft Week, brought to you by Super Stitch. Welcome back to Daybreak. On today's Craft Week, Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy. Are you surviving the eating season? You may, it may not be, but of course, Andrea is going to tell us how we can do just that, especially since Christmas is just around the corner. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Andrea. Of course, Andrea is the nutrition expert here at Kirk Supermarket. Yeah. How Hi, are how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you surviving the eating season, Delisa? Well, I mean, with all the parties that yeah. have been taking place, mm. of course I am. <laughs> You know, it's it's you know I think that the, the sort of um, thing about eating around the holidays is almost stressful to a lot it of people is. because it's almost synonymous with weight gain over the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell people out there that this is not the time to diet. So throw the D word out of your heads. I tried. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's you know not honestly it's impossible. It's unrealistic to think that this is the time to lose weight. Mm -hmm. You cannot boycott the festivities. You are going to be in them. So let's talk about how we can survive the holidays, <laughs> eat properly so that we don't start January 1 with an extra bit of bulge okay. around our tummies. So mm -hmm. a lot of time we go to a party and we're like, or we're headed to a party later in the evening and we're like, okay, we're not going to have anything to eat all day long. Yes. Yeah. Th this is such a common thing that people do. Yeah. They, they either skip their breakfast and their lunch all together to anticipate saving calories for later on in the day. And honestly, this tactic is going to backfire. You're going to arrive at the party ravenous and all good healthy intentions go out the window out the at way. that point. And then I think too, when we eat, we kind of think we're eating more yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And yeah. It actually didn't help. Well, the thing is at that point, I don't think you are thinking um, properly because you are so very hungry. hungry. You're very hungry. <laughs> so my, my suggestion, my tip here is you do need to have a snack before you go out to that party. And I've got some examples over here. I've got some protein-based snacks because that protein is really gonna stain your system a lot mm -hmm. longer. So like a handful of nuts, a cheese stick, maybe an energy bar or, um, or a yogurt, mm -hmm. a Greek yogurt because you have more um, protein mm -hmm. in it. But certainly do not arrive at that party having had eaten nothing for hours. At least something, a little, a little something before. I, I always have something within the hour of going to the party. Okay, always. okay. Yeah. I'm always freaking out like, mm, <laughs> I may not be hungry and then I get there and it's like, oh, there's food, what do I do? No, but see, you arrive and you have, a, you're in a better frame of mind because your stomach isn't thinking for you at that point. I do have to say at our Christmas party this year, I kind of ditched the dessert. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? So it sounds like you were a little choosy on what to, what to eat. Mm -hmm. And that actually rolls into our next tip because you actually want to pass on the mundane and go, and, and, sorry, and be choosy on things. So when I say pass on the mundane, I mean that, you know, if, if you're at a party and you see chocolate chip cookies, you see little patties and stuff, I'm sorry, but we can eat that stuff any time of year. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to add that on your plate. Go for the things that are classic of the season. For some people, mincemeat tarts. Um, might be specific types of chocolates that come Yummy. out, you know, with the yummy little holiday oh. squares mm -hmm. and this and that fruit cake, any of these things coming out. These are classic of the season. Enjoy your reasonable portion and move on. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Have any portions. Exactly. Don't go overboard and eat before you go to the party. Exactly. Because you're going to be ravenous when you get right. there. Right. And, and <laughs> without a doubt, when you go to that party, you're going to have you're going to be bombarded with so many different types of things from sausage rolls to crackers and chips and this and that. Mm -hmm. So I say be choosy, but be specific here on, on, on what you can go for. This could be like low fat types of dips like hummus, maybe over like a spinach artichoke creamy dip that's going to be really high in calories. Um, going with little types of antipastas like bruschettas, tapenades, 
um, even smoked salmon on, on some crackers, mm -hmm. veggies and dip, you know, these types of things. You know, the typical sort of sausage rolls that come in, I mean, just four of them, over 200 calories and a third of your day saturated fat. Okay. Now what happens <laughs> after your, your Christmas party, your Christmas event? Mm -hmm. um, what do you do? I mean, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you, I guess, consume as much water as possible even throughout the time. Absolutely. But... You want to keep hydrated because when you are even mildly dehydrated, you are hungrier. So it's harder again to resist. So keeping hydrated, absolutely. But but the other thing that tends to happen this time of year is people either drink um, too much alcohol or too many sweetened mm -hmm. drinks. I say either combine it with some seltzer soda water or even dilute them, right? Okay. So another way to kind of have your cake and eat it too, so okay. to speak. Well, after this, you know, we have the new year and then that's where the bubbly comes in and the extra <laughs> sugar and everything. What do we do after that or before, leading up to that to we make sure, even though we're not going on a diet, mm -hmm. but we do we make sure that we incorporate our cardio and different exercise routines? That's it, you said it. This is the time of year when you don't want to pass on exercise. You need to fit it in. Honestly, even if it's just a 15 minute power walk, get it in there because you need to just kind of balance out the calories of what you've consumed from the previous evening. It's okay. the only way to deal with it over the holidays. All right, now any last tips for viewers out there for uh, being the bulge? Honestly, I, 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 would, I would really stress the last tip to fit in exercise. All right. It sounds like a little 15 minutes, but it's going to go a long way so that you are not frightened by January 1 when you step you on the scale. Imagine getting on the scale and you're like, oh, not a good great. idea. It's yeah. all that beef. Keep all it right. in there. Perfect. Thank you very much for having us at Kirk Supermarket. Thanks, Delisa. All right, everyone, don't go away. There is more taking place right here on Daybreak. Stay with us. Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy.